Hello, this is Lucaria, and welcome to another one of my vid reps. And today we have me versus Zapix on a random map. And let's begin. Anyways, I said before, I think there are quite a few, there's not too many good replays on bfcards.info right now. So um, I guess I'll just do one on myself playing. Uh, I'm a legend, and Zapix is a legend, so. And it was a pretty interesting game, I have to say. Though I have to say, um, I also have to say that it was. It, this is a bit of a an ego upload because I pretty much own Zapix, but it's a pretty, pretty cool replay nevertheless. Anyway, I start with the dread charge and start grabbing wells uh, here and here on this random map because it's pretty big. So I don't think Zapix will be able to rush me in time. Zapix just grabs his two wells with a uh, dryad. He starts with a dryad. Not exactly the best unit to use against a shadow start because I I believe Nox troopers own dryads. Uh, pretty badly, and uh, he realizes that his dread has stands no chance against my dread charger and retreats, which is actually a mistake. What he should have done was just build this wall here. I mean, it only costs 25 power, and I realized he should have done that just about now. So I quickly run back and grab the wall, and it will take him a long time to break this wall with only T1 units. And I have 150 power, so I feel pretty confident in grabbing T2 because he won't be able to break the wall in time. And then I send my Dread Charger to harass his Dryads, but he's probably gonna die because two Dryads beat one Dread Charger. Very simple as that. And of course the Dryads, uh, Zapix favors Dryads because of their very useful damage reduction ability. Uh, very powerful in one of, in the, for Nature Frost, you can, you can make a giant ball of units that are pretty much invulnerable, especially if you use Stonekin. Anyway, I see uh, Zapix is grabbing more well, so I grab another well uh, to maintain power parity, and I believe he's one well ahead of me, but I have T2. Yes, that's right. And uh, right now I'm just biding my time, gaining power, and then I realize that maybe this is one of those random maps that you can really abuse walls. So I build a fire stalker, try to attack as well, but I realize about now that nope, not quite in range, so I have to lower the, lower the gate down and start attacking his building from here. And I'm pretty sure Zapix plays a stone king deck, so he'll have to grab T2 if he wants to stop my stop my Fire Stalker from attacking his uh, power well. And that's what he does. <laughs> and my Forsaken here attacking his Dryads, and I ravaged my Fire Stalker so he'll stay alive, but I at this point I was pretty sure the, uh, the power well would not go down because the monument would go up too fast and he'd be able to Glacier Shell, Cabal, Trick it, no problem. Plus, he sleeps my Fire Stalker, which ruins my chances of that. And, uh, oh yes, this is in fact my Shadow Fire deck, which I've just created, just trying to figure out. It's a pretty cool deck, actually. Normally, I, actually, since the release of Battleforge, I've been playing Pure Shadow, which has gotten a bit boring, so I decided to play something with a little more challenge. Fire Shadow is actually quite a challenging deck to play with no CCs, and um, a distinct lack of uh, pure shadow amazingness like resource boosters so I'm not exactly too used to playing fire, uh, shadow fire but getting more used to it and I summon a night guard this year to the deep one of course and I do have a 120 power so that's enough to mind control it uh, swap it and it looks like Zapix summons a crystal fiend to start healing his units but doesn't matter he, he didn't even see he didn't even try to CC my night guard so that night guard's gonna go down pretty fast uh, yeah I used the deep one's ability to grab it and then I uh, yeah that night guard's pretty much dead and I summon a Nox trooper in case he tries to CC the deep one or something but wasn't necessary and now I am one deep one up and Zapix has a moon ready to counter my uh, my the deep one I just grabbed but then I summon another night guard actually I summoned it quite a while ago then I, I just decide to swap Moon just for the hell of it. And as you can see, Moon cannot use her ability fast enough to kill Night Guard without some eruption control. And unfortunately, Zapix is not playing a Fire Splash deck, so his Moon pretty much doesn't work against uh, the killing the Night Guard. So now I have one Moon and one Deep One attacking his base. Unfortunately, he heals his uh, power well, so I can't lava field it. And the Night Guard actually was about to finish his cooldown so I was afraid that he'd try to uh, try to mind control one of these units back so I quickly killed it with a lot with a quick lava field. And uh, use the use Moon's ability <laughs> to heal 
and then I ravage Moon, so I pretty much get away scot-free with Moon and a deep one over Zapix. And of course, since you swap units, 